Hey everybody, just want to let you know, I think it's carpooling time. We had, a big, we had a big storm last night. Before it was pretty bad, but now it's just totally useless, the carpooling. So we're cutting them down now and putting them in a bag to not make a big mess everywhere. But as you can see, they just fall down. And the way we tie these, we put a rock in here and then we uh, twist up the end and then we put a little loop knot or a tie a knot around it and then that holds it really good this is this is probably the best way to do it just find a small little rock probably not sharp points just rounded if you can stick it in there twist it up the cor corner tie a little knot around it and then tie it to your your bamboo or whatever you're pulling pulling it tight with so anyway yeah so it just wiped out all of our bamboo i mean all of our uh, tarpaulin but this is cheap tarpaulin they don't have uv block in the tarpaulin and you can see why because you have to buy a new tarpaulin every two months <clears throat> maybe three if you're lucky but uh, that other tarpaulin see that blue and white stripe over there i was wondering if i should have bought that before i mean we're in the last leg of boat building so i don't know if, how much i want to invest in a a lot of good tarpaulin and that tarpaulin's only well i think it's eight foot wide or six foot wide this is eight foot you can get this in eight foot wide rolls uh and that may be too but we'll see when i'll price it if that's cheaper we'll just put that up because this is the tarpaulin see right here that we're using to cover these boats with and it's been out of the sun because the, uh, this tarpaulin has been blocking all the uv and the sun from it so it's been holding up and that over there has been doing okay but you can see it does this will be a tarpaulin uh from info Marshall here you can see it does come apart after so much sun and stuff not quite as bad as uh, as the other does and it's a heavier thicker fabric you can see the weave in in there I still don't think it's got UV block but it may have some because and I put the white towards the Sun to reflect as much as I can you can see up here it's tearing see right there right there tearing and that's been this is a year old by the way this tarpaulin is one year old but it's been rolled up and away from the sun it's been out sun it's actually in the shade of that tree that is on the ground from the typhoon that blew everything down here uh so anyway we are going to uh today what the plan is the mission is to figure out how to make the tarpaulin upright measure it and get a size and shape and take it to the welder so he can build step one of that it's not going to include the base plate mount it's just going to include it's just going to be the vertical chrome uh, chrome that's uh, stainless steel uh, upright and it's not going to have the v that goes over to there or over to here because i don't know where what the angles are so i gotta figure that out so we'll build the upright first and figure out the location what kind of mounting we're going to do and we might get that done next the all the mounting stuff and then we may do the have him weld those v's pointing at that tarpaulin support and the v over here pointing at that tarpaulin there that tarpaulin support uh so we'll have to see how that goes so that's kind of the the first two steps of what we're up to now but again we're going to cut all this tarpaulin hanging down it's all in our way and in our face and looking ugly and raggedy and more than raggedy so we will be back with more <laughs> tarpaulin horror stories hey Bye everybody. For now. i'm going to show you how easy it is to put these uh tarpaulin uprights in so we got the back one in and this is the front one here so uh Basically, you just pick it up, and of course, we got strings here, so you got to kind of maneuver around the strings. But normally, you wouldn't have to do do that. Then you come over here. See that? You line that up. Voila! You're in. Boom! Now you got your tarpaulin tied up. It's on. Now, what we have to do from here, knowing where these two are, now we can figure out where this one has to be. The height and everything because it's got to be about four or six inches higher than that so that the roof kind of angles down 
and likewise the back and the front should be 56 inches should be from the basically the top of the boat and i'm i don't know what i'm calling the top of the boat because this could be the top of the boat but this is the the uh what do you call it gunnel anyway the side the top of the boat i think this is the top of the boat because that's kind of where this pretty close is so uh we got to make it about four or six inches higher than that and we got to get the angle so it angles back you see this angles back obviously it goes up and it goes back so where it's supporting the tarpaulin is back here not up here where you would think it should be up here kind of blocking the rain from the front of the boat and we got a fix for that a temporary idea i've got an idea for that the other thing we need to do is drill we countersink these holes because they got the epoxy oozed out of them so i gotta re countersink these with a 3 8 inch bit and then uh tap with a little 1 16th bit just through the epoxy because the screw won't go through the epoxy well without stripping the everybody the so what we've done we put all of the brackets in all four and what we did we put a, a cocoa wood all the way across here and the reason we did that because we know that's 56 inches up and we need to be about six inches higher than that the problem with that is the back of this boat they're at different heights this is lower than this is this as it goes this way it gets higher and higher and higher until we don't know what's equal to that so we got to uh but if we do this then we know one's measured from here straight down and we'll have a pretty good measurement uh, and we'll do the same on the front <laughs> measure that down and we'll know how tall to make the rear support bracket so we are going to do that measuring and we'll be back with more from my paradise on italian island bye for now all right everybody let me tell you at least basically what the game plan is here the length of or the whatever the angle that that leans back is 22 inches at that height actually so at another 10 inches it's going to be 24 inches probably two more inches which i didn't account for so we may have to rethink this but still basically what the idea is see i got my two lines here this is nine inches that's how wide that is from front to back here i may can move it up another inch which i might do i just need room to put the rope around here and not be you know trying to squeeze a rope in there so uh we may start right here at this blue mark and go to this blue mark here and we'll have one more of these Th these are all three inches and this is nine exactly and these are three exactly so i need one more three here which i've got i have plenty of that and then we'll weld these together like that and then we'll set that that uh bracket on here this way and then we'll weld along this side and then we'll weld along this side and then we'll put a bolt here a bolt here and a bolt here even though these are welded in one piece we'll put one bolt in each strip and we'll have three bolts underneath here we have one two by four right here so if we put a bolt here we're only bolting through three-fourths inch wood we don't want that so we're going to take another two by four and put it in here all the way up until it gets to where it has to narrow then we're going to trim it down narrow and come as far up as we can probably up to where this cleat is uh, and on both sides and epoxy that and then where we drill the holes through here that'll be where that new those two new two two by fours are here and here and we kind of want it centered and close to here so it doesn't try to lift this plate up because this is this is eighth inch thick strong but it ain't you, you know a, a fat guy got on it and grabbed it and pushed it that that way you could you could lift this up so the bolts really need to be close to here so we're gonna have to really make that uh two by fours snug up against the center one on the sides it's gonna have to really be tight because we don't want to spread these bolts out too far uh, again so it don't try to lift this and this is just going to set on here and i don't like that idea i wish i could permanently attach this to here epoxy this to here but i can't um, unless i double plate it unless i epoxy unless i do three of these one two three epoxy these three two here and then make another three on top of it 
uh, and then bolt through that, and then the stainless steel will set on stainless steel, because what I'm worried about is over time, this just wears right through here, and then you got raw wood and the ocean going in here, because this is not sealed to this. And if I epoxy it, it will be sealed. And so that may be my only answer is double plate it. Have a plate welded to the bottom of that that bolts to the plate that's epoxied and screwed in. I'll put my uh, stainless steel screws in there, screwed in uh, to that one. And that may be the answer. So we will continue the engineering quest. Again, I put my little cross beam across here so I can measure exactly how hard. So I'm making this one 68 inches tall. The back one's 68 in inches tall. The front one's going to be about two inches higher than the back, actually, because the back kind of slopes down. But that's okay, because when it rains, we want the rain to be going off the back, not coming off the front, because that'll be blowing us into us. So if it's coming off the back, it's blowing back into the ocean as we travel forward. So it'll slope down that way and angle over to these guys. Be about a six inch slope there. Not much, but enough to uh, drain, hopefully, and not get a ridiculously tall centerpiece here that looks odd. So, we will be back with more. See, if I tore that tarpaulin down, you'd actually get to see kind of the kind of two thirds of the, of the brackets there. There it is two-thirds of the brackets. Let me see if I can get all holes. Just about everything right there. See if I can do a snapshot on my screen. No, can't. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> that's what we're up to. Bye for now.